free premiere of entertainmentwindsor.ca EWTV. I'm Veronica Mancini. And I'm Sean Ireland, and we are here at Villains Bistro downtown Windsor, and we are also here for the world premiere party of Survive Another Day, yes. which is here the upcoming go. production at Theatre Windsor. It's a very exciting uh, premiere event. We have the writer here tonight who wrote the script uh, locally yep, here. Bruno. We have the director, we have the cast, and hopefully we'll see a few zombies roaming around. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I do well with zombies. They're kind of creepy and scary. But that's what we have tonight live from Villains Bistro. And uh, I guess, you know, I want to start off talking about the past season and how much fun it was for season two that, you know, we did a lot of awesome shows and a lot of... Uh, you know, theater productions. What did you like about it? Anything that stands up for you? Oh, it just seems, Veronica, that it went so fast. Um, it's like all of a sudden we're season three, uh, which is exciting. Oh, I know. Again, when we started yeah. this three years ago, uh, it was a small idea that grew into something bigger. Um, so I can't even think offhand. We've done so much. Well, I know session. that. Um uh, we're still friends, so we yes. haven't had any cast points. That's together. great, yeah. Not on camera. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, I think it's been great. And you know what? I ended up saving up some bloopers. So you want to uh, go throw it to bloopers for season two? Sure. Let's okay. take a look at some of the bloopers from last season. <laughs> have, a drink, have a drink. Thanks. Have a drink. You need it, Veronica. Good. Perfect. Yeah. A sip. <sighs> My God, that's strong. Put hair on your chest. Wow. Gonna put hair on your chest. Oh yeah, right. You already had hair there. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think so. All right. Ready and. Ugh. Oh my God, that stuff is vile. Hairdresser. Yeah, right. Because that's not gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have EWTV. No. Gotta do it again. Because I gotta move. Hold on now. My lips are stuck to this thing. I can't say it. Oh, freedom. God, freedom, freedom to, to read. read week. Okay. And from what I understand, the whole idea about this mm -hmm. uh, festival is that um, they talk about, I can't, don't want to say. <laughs> I knew, I knew you. You're like, you. where's he going? So those look like some great shows. I know, I can't And if you want to see Rhett, okay. I can't. Because she's sorry. talked right over you. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> no, Walter, don't mimic her. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Stop. No, we are I never. Okay. Stop. Okay. <laughs> no, it looks like I'm crying. Three. It's good for Woo! The okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Stop! Whoever's making me laugh. Okay, stop. It's yourself. Oh, it's a serious face. I got, I got ten minutes. Serious face. That's okay. right. Serious face. Okay. Come on. Stop. Okay. Ready? Hold on. It's my throne. <clears throat> three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. All right. Well, that is it for this webisode. So Veronica, you always manage to find the uh, worst bloopers of me saying stuff on there. I know. We need to find some stuff that make you look negative in the light. Well, being that I am the editor, that ain't ever going to happen. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so now that we're done with season two, we're on to season three. Mm -hmm. And with season three, not only do we have our regular reporters like Ellie Chepergy, Bonnie Barreau, and Barry Brody, we cover books, theater, and the arts. We have two new faces. Yes, we do. This year we have Tom Scully joining us, who will be taking care of music and nightlife in Windsor and Essex County. And also Amanda Marshall, who will be covering fashion and film. So, so now I think we should uh, get back to our Survive Another Day premiere. And let's get talking to some of the people around and, you know, see if we can find some zombies. What do you think? Sure. But before we go to that, you know that I'm playing an action hero in this, right? Very exciting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I get to wear a tank top. Oh, lovely. Blood. <laughs> I get to use guns, swords. So uh, it's quite exciting. So it's a lot of acting on your part? Absolutely. 
so let's Excellent. <laughs> go and see if we can find some of my castmates and see if they'll Sounds talk to you. Good. All right, I am here with Ian Bruno, the writer of Survive Another Day, right here. This is the world premiere of Survive Another Day. How are you feeling today? Well, it's surreal. It's, it's crazy because um, it's sort of seeing things that were only written on a computer or only, only existed in my head are actually being put on the stage right now. And a whole bunch of phenomenal actors acting their hearts out, learning a very difficult script and making it work. Well, what was your what was your inspiration to for, to even have the idea to write something like this? Um, well, we've done three farces before. Like I'd, I've acted in three, and I, we also did Night of Living Dead. As, as you know, we were part of that. And uh, the idea came: what happens if we combine them and see how that works? And I think somehow I've successfully done that, and with Tim's direction, made it actualized, I would say. So. I am so excited to see this. Just to think that you could do um, a farce or romantic comedy and then uh, like a zombie movie all in one. I, I don't know. The concept seems strange, but I think it's going to work and I can't wait to see it. It does work. Yeah, we um, even during auditions at the very beginning from the very start, people were reading the scripts and laughing. So that just made me take a huge sigh of relief just going, <laughs> oh good, it's kind of funny. So, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm just happy with all of the work that all the people have done and it counts to about hundreds of people doing thousands and thousands of hours of work to make this thing work and it does. Awesome. Well, I'm so happy for you, Ian, and, and I, wish, yeah. I, I really wish you much success. Yeah, oh, it's going to be fun. Thank you Cheers. so much. Great work. <laughs> so we're here now with the director of Survive Another Day, Tim Marshall. Tim, um, oh God, why did you want to direct this play? Uh, I'm not exactly sure now that we're <laughs> almost ready to put right, it on the stage. Exactly. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, because it was written by my close friend Ian Bruno, okay. uh, I had a chance to read the script, and uh, of course, and I, I felt like it was an opportunity to really make people laugh and enjoy the show, you know? What has been one of the most difficult things about putting a show like this together? I would say the most difficult thing, you know, is, is getting people to come out and play the zombies because it's a very thankless role. Um, even though, without them, this isn't a zombie play, right. you know? What was one of the highlights of putting a show like this uh, together that you feel that you've done well and, and excelled at? Well, you know, I, I think one of the things that, that we've done is kind of gone outside uh, the box of the way things uh, have been done in theater, typically. Uh, for example, I've sold television commercials that will play during the play. Um, I've uh, created a soundtrack of amateur artists from the city of Windsor uh, that will be available for people at the show. Uh, don't be surprised if you hear the Love Boat theme. Right. Don't okay. be surprised if you hear Millie Vanilli. And uh, don't be surprised if you get Rick World. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. And, and, you know, just one final question for you, Tim. Sure. What is the audience member who's coming to see the show, what will they take away when they leave at the end of the night? What do you want to send out to them, the message? Well, I hope that they get to leave alive. Okay. You know, because be good, there yeah. are a lot of zombies uh, by the end of it. I think what they'll take away is a really exciting multimedia experience yes. that they'll never forget. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Sean. And uh, I know that I will be there for the show, of course, of on course. stage. Of course, yep. And uh, just to throw it out there, if you guys want to see Survive Another Day, it will be performed at Theatre Windsor, October 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 27, 28, 29, 30. And you can call and get tickets at 519-944-1968. Or you can also purchase your tickets online by going to www.theaterwindsor.com. We'll see you at the show. So, Veronica, are you as ready for season three as I am? Oh, I am so ready. I think we're going to have a lot of fun topics this year. We're moving into having, again, film and fashion. We'll keep with the books, the arts, the theater, and also we're going to be doing some of the nightlife in the uh, Windsor and Essex County area. Yep. Um, don't forget contests. And oh, I yes. I have one right now. Yes. Uh, we have a contest for uh, to win tickets for Windsor Light Music Theaters Into the Woods. And it's really easy to win, and you'll have to go to our Facebook page, like us, and then let us know what is your favorite fairy tale character from the production of Into the Woods. It's that easy. Entertainment Windsor Facebook page. So that looks like a pretty easy contest. Oh, I think so. So just remember to like us on Facebook, 
And uh, the other thing I just found out too is that Theatre Windsor has given or donated two pairs of tickets to survive another day. So um, in order to win these tickets, you need to go to our Facebook page at Entertainment Windsor and you need to answer the question. During the interview with Tim Marshall, the director, what musical group did he mention that their music may be appearing in the show? The first two answers that come in win a pair of tickets each. So I'll give a little hint. I think he mentioned something from the 80s or the 90s, right? Right, he did. Okay, okay that should be easy okay. enough, I think. Okay, good. So, Veronica, where are we next? Okay, next up, Sean and I will be co-hosting uh, live at St. Clair Center for the Arts, the BizX Awards, for the third year in a row, and I can't wait for that. We always have a lot of fun, you know, getting to know the winners, the business people from around Windsor, Essex, and as well as bugging the chefs in the kitchen. That's right. Yeah. And before we go, we'd like to thank Theatre Windsor and the cast and crew of Survive yeah. Another Day, as as well as Villains Bistro for inviting Entertainment Windsor to come out to their world premiere gala event and we hope we're going to see you at the show. As well we have to thank uh, Precision Hair Designs for our hair tonight and I think that is it for today isn't it? Yes, okay yeah. that is it for our webisode so from Sean and from Ellie and from Bonnie as well as myself that is it for entertainmentwindsor.ca EWTV. See you next, next time. time. And what happened to our <laughs>If you're interested in advertising on EWTV or you have an event that you want us to cover, then please contact us at entertainmentwindsor.ca.